this is my window manager of choice it doesn't look like much and in fact the two uh, things that you can see on the screen the clock and the little mixer panel are things which I've told it to uh, start up automatically because when you first get this, when you first install it without it being configured it doesn't do much there is a basic menu but you've got to add to it um, it's fast, it's lightweight and I use it because on my old laptop which I'm using now a, uh, an HP Compact 6715B it flies, it's quick it re rejuvenates the laptop if I tried to put anything modern on it it would just unfortunately it would just be so bogged down and slow that it would be painful to use uh, the Motif window manager <coughs> originates from the early 1980s and if anyone has ever used any old Unix systems from that time then you've used either Motif window manager or use the Motif toolkit in some shape or form either in the uh, CDE desktop or the common desktop environment or occasionally some uh, programs using Motif uh, Motif itself used to be closed source it used to be only um, proprietary and only available to buy uh, until about what well, five years ago when the uh, the open group licensed licensed it under the LGPL and made it available and so everybody can enjoy it now the software I use on a daily basis uh, is really not any different to what other people use but I almost exclusively, well no, I do exclusively use open source software through choice uh, and the ones I use I use OpenShot for my video editing it's fantastic software, really really good I use TED now TED is a very slim lightweight word processor that's built around the Motif uh, toolkit it's very quick uh, it does lack some features but if you want to fire off a letter or a quick document you can't beat it it's really good I also use um, LibreOffice when I need put a bit more oomph behind what I'm doing I don't need to introduce LibreOffice it's pretty much standard and I also use LibreOffice Calc the spreadsheet of course it really is very very good and of course the third one in the suite is uh, <coughs> LibreOffice Impress for those who don't know it's a uh, presentation software and so and I've got Scribus <coughs> it's a fantastic desktop publishing software it's uh, has a slightly different look around it built around uh, the QT toolkit but I like it it works well very very good. You can lay out your text, convert things into uh, PDF, all sorts of stuff. It's really good. Uh, what else now? I do. Oh yeah, of course, Audacity. At the moment, I'm actually recording um, audio on Vision in FMPEG, which is a little script uh, that I've got going. I'll show you that look uh, in multimedia. Screencast start and screencast stop. 
It's just a little FFmpeg uh, thing that I do. But when I'm not using that, I'll use Audacity to record audio. So I've got that. Um, of course, Inkscape. Inkscape's a brilliant <coughs> vector drawing uh, application program. Very, very good. It's just, you know, you could spend an entire half an hour video just talking about some of the features on this. It's quite incredible. So I've got that one. And uh, obviously, GIMP for the finishing touches of any drawing that you're doing. And handbrake. Now, sometimes when I'm doing these screen, when I, if I'm screencasting like now, uh, for some particular reason, my open shot it doesn't like to handle AVI files, so I just uh, shove them in the handbrake and convert them to MP4s, which is quite happy about. There's a, a tiny little bit of loss of detail or sharpness, but it reduces the size and it puts it to a format which it, it likes so I'm quite happy with that uh, <coughs> what else have we got pencil which is a very simple uh, animation program so you just draw your lines then click on a new thing and, and you can see the previous layer so you can just go around it and copy it and then again just do a bit more and then if you press play, you get a simple movement, which is very good. You can do a lot more on it than I can, but I'm just learning it at the moment. Uh, mock, which is music on console. It's a, a cursors or end cursors driven music program. Very, very quick. Uh, the only limitation is speed comes down to my hard drive that I'm using, which is an external one in a uh, hard drive caddy. But once it gets going, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll just tidy these look up, pack icons, very good. Uh, obviously, I use uh, a browser which is SeaMonkey rather than Firefox. I prefer SeaMonkey's rather retro, uh, if you wish, look. <coughs> it's very reminiscent of the old Mozilla suite that you could get. Uh, you can get a dress book, composer, um, email and news groups, of course the browser part. I just like the overall feel of it. <coughs> and then uh, we've got Solve Space, which is a, a computer-aided design package. I'm just learning it at the moment. It's very, um, I don't know, it's very good, even on this low powered uh, laptop still manages to perform quite well so I'm just practicing on extruding some text at the moment so that's that and of course pencil I've talked about and oh look Robin you get YouTube so that's that's just some of the ones that I use I use other ones <coughs> my favorite um, or like command line text editor is just edit that's well, built into uh, FreeBSD brings up thingy I mean you can do the same thing uh, if you're using Linux by just typing EE I should imagine for easy editor same thing it's just that on FreeBSD it's, it's aliased as uh, edit <coughs> which you yeah, know it's okay you get used to it so that's my favourite console based one. Some people prefer Nano, uh, so some even you know, Vi, Vi, or Vim. I prefer this. And that's it. Of course, the obviously command line is one of the programs I use quite extensively. So, yeah, and that's it. So, would I recommend you install and use Motive Window Manager? Sure. If you're adventurous and you don't mind getting your hands dirty in the command line and editing text files and just generally trying something new, then yeah, give it a go. It'll make old hardware fly again. Everything will feel speedy and new. 
So in that respect, yes, do it. But if you want it to hold your hand and guide you through every single process, then I don't think it's going to be for you. So, until next time, see you soon.